however i i will say that the uh, cortical echogenicity of the kidney is probably diffusely decreased compared to that of the normal and there is actually no dilation of the proximal ureter as this is the proximal ureter this tube and it measures 5.3 mm and normal should further and the normal should not be more than 7 so proximal ureter is not dilated plus 20 20 radio acha now to the right kidney now again you see this kidney is also showing the same changes as you see in the left kidney and that is that the calyces are dilated and the kidney measures uh, 10 11.0 cm in length and uh, 5.8 cm in anterior posterior diameter so in, in anterior posterior diameter the kidney is enlarged there is dilation of all the calyces upper pole this is the lower pole this is the mid region so all upper pole middle pole lower pole calyces are dilation are dilated and the degree of dilation is from minimal to moderate with no calculi seen in this uh, in the dilated calyces the parenchymal echogenicity is though uh, diffuse the decrease in this patient with pyramids seen so cortical medullary differentiation is intact kidney show both kidney show diffuse decrease parenchymal echogenicity so is the proximal ureter dilated or not thoda jaise jo hai yes Now here we are again. You see, this is the proximal ureter. This tubular structure is the proximal ureter, and it measures 5.6.9 millimeters and is not dilated. Sir. so what's happening is that uh, the blood is coming down into the and being collected in the urinary bladder and these are all there for clot formations within the urinary bladder not related to the prostate and second important thing is that you can see that this proximal ureter that uh, distal ureter this is the distal ureter is dilated and from here the blood is entering the urinary bladder and making this echogenicity is to appear now here the this measures 9.1 the distal ureter this tube like structure in longitudinal section is the distal right distal ureter which is dilated up to 9.1 normal is up to 7 and is uh, seen dilated up to the level from where it enters the urinary bladder this is the transverse section this is the distal ureter in transverse section as i move the probe 90 degrees see it becomes tubular So this is the ureter, distal ureter. On the left side, again you can see that these are seminal vesicles. You should not confuse them. Make sure that these now these this is my scanning angle is. 
such that this is transfer view and these are the seminal vesicles that should not be confused with uh, dilated uh, distal ureters in transfer section as the, this is the dilated distal ureter in transfer section because as I move the probe 90 degree you see it becomes dilated. So both the ureters are dilated. So this